Hey everyone, tonight I'll be reviewing Gentle Giants 2017 uh, San Diego Comic Con convention exclusive of uh, Princess Leia. This is the collector's gallery statue, the 1 8 scale holographic. And this is the box that it came in. Just do a quick 360 of it. The box at the back has a screenshot. A bit of reading and the scene from which she's in her holographic form. And then just another picture of the actual statue. All right, and now for the statue itself. This one had an addition size of 770, which with it being the 40 year anniversary of A New Hope, they wanted to do that since it debuted in 1977, they wanted to keep that 77 in the addition size. So that's where they landed with 770. And real quick, here's the Certificate of Authenticity with my edition number of 150. Let's go for the statue. Now, even though this is a little bit on the small size, got a hand scale, got big fat hands anyway, uh, it's still pretty cool. The detail on it, to me, in the pictures, whenever I saw pictures of it at the convention and on Jill and Giant's website, I thought it looked more like a Hasbro toy. Than an actual collectible statue but when you get it in person the leia itself has some heft to it so it feels more like a high-end collectible in person than it does whenever you see pictures of it and some of the detail of the details on the hands and the wardrobe you can even see on the belt itself that's pretty cool and on the back the function it, it takes three AAA I believe they're AAA batteries to operate it and we'll show there's a little switch there in the back the only issue I saw and you can kind of see the peg that's sticking up where it's on there it's a really snug fit and it's not going to slip off but kind of makes me worried trying to remove it the base is real it's black but it's got kind of a shiny cast to it so you can see the reflection of it And speaking of being battery operated, there's two different modes that Gentle Giant let the statue be in. The first one, or I'll do the second one, when you click on it, I can find the button back there. All right, there it is. Click on it twice. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. Click on it once. You're my only hope. It lights up and says the tone for 10 seconds, then it should kick off by itself. The other mode, which is pushing the button twice, it said, it, the light comes on by itself. There's no sound clip, but we'll play the sound clip one more time since I was talking over it. Well, you push it once. So the directions here that Jill and Giant was, so press the button on the back once to turn on the light. The sound will play two seconds after the light turns on. Press the button twice to turn the light with no sound. The light will stay on for 10 seconds and then turn off. All right, we'll try it one more time just to make sure I'm not losing my mind. I'm pushing it once. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Right. You're my only hope. All right, we're now in the dark and we'll hit the button one time so we can see the light. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. So it'll stay on for 10 seconds and it should click off. All right, so you got to see the effect. Now to conclude the review, uh, a lot of General Giants San Diego Comic-Con exclusives are still available on their website. This one, I believe, sold out at the show because there's not a link to purchase it on General Giants' website. But you can always go to eBay. The price isn't marked up too high yet. But as cool as this statue is and all the Leia fans that are out there, I'm sure this one will continue to rise in value. All right, thank you. Bye.